Now in the next part of the question, we're given this chord AB which I've drawn on that is parallel to the x-axis and I've also updated the diagram with the centre coordinates for N. Now we're told that AB is of length 12 units and asked then to find the coordinates of A and B. Well in order to do this what we've got to do is to remember that if we were to drop a perpendicular down here to the chord AB then clearly it's going to cut this length in half so what we've got here is essentially six units this way and six units that way. Now it means that the x coordinate for A and the x coordinate for B are easily found now. All, right. all you've got to do is because we're stepping back six units this way from the two units here then clearly the x coordinate of A is going to be 2 minus 6 which is going to be minus 4. And as for the B x coordinate it's going to be 6 units beyond the 2 here so 2 and 6 making 8. So we've got the first part of the coordinates we just need to get the y coordinate. Now because the y coordinate, the x and y coordinates I should say, lie on this circle, they must satisfy this equation. So in other words, all I need to do is substitute either x is minus 4 or x is 8 into this equation to establish what the corresponding y value is going to be. So what I'm going to do is just simply say that when x equals, I'm going to take the 8 here. If I substitute this into the equation here, I've got 8 minus 2 all squared plus, then you've got the y plus 1 all squared equals 169 over 4. We know that 8 take 2 is 6 and 6 squared is 36, so therefore we have 36 plus y plus 1 all squared equals 169 over 4. Now, just out of interest, okay, I took x is 8, but you could have possibly taken x is minus 4. But look what happens. If you take x is minus 4 and put it in here, minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6. And if you square that, you're back to 36 again. So either way, it doesn't matter whether you take x is minus 4 or x is 8. You're going to arrive at this equation. Okay, now to solve this equation, there's no need to expand the bracket in a situation like this. All you need to do is just take away 36 from both sides. And if you do that, you've got y plus 1 all squared equals 169 over 4 minus 36. And if you do that, what you get is 25 over 4, 25 quarters in other words. Now all I need to do is square root both sides. And that leaves me with y plus 1 equals the square root of 25 over 4. And we must remember not to forget the plus or minus. Square root of 25 over 4 is going to be 5 over 2. So you've got, therefore, y plus 1 equals plus or minus 5 over 2. And to get y... All we need to do is subtract 1 from both sides. So you've got plus or minus 5 over 2 minus 1. So what does this mean? Well, if we take plus 5 over 2, 2.5 two in other words, and subtract 1, we therefore have y equals, well, 3 over 2. And if we take minus 5 over 2 minus another 1, we end up with y equaling minus 7 over 2. Now, we're after the coordinates of A and B, and clearly the y values are below the x-axis. So y must be a negative number, y must be less than 0. So what I'm going to put over here then is essentially that, uh, let's just border that off, since y must be less than 0, then clearly y has to equal minus 7 over 2. 
And what that means then is that therefore the coordinates of A are going to be minus 4 and minus 7 over 2 and the coordinates of B are going to be 8 and minus 7 over 2. So they have the coordinates now of A and B. Just out of interest though, when Y was 3 over 2, that was giving the answer to a question which would be a chord up here that had a length of 12. If you had a chord up here of length of 12, the corresponding X coordinates would have been again negative 4 and 8, but the corresponding Y coordinate would have been the 3 over 2. Anyway, that brings us now to the end of this part of the question.